I want to make sure that you both understand what it is you're asking. The Massey prenup provides that in the event of a dissolution of the marriage, for any reason, both parties will leave it with what they brought in and earned during. No one can profit from the marriage. The prenup protects the wealthier party. Without it, that party is exposed. A sitting duck. Not a hell of a lot of romance in that. No, sir, there is not. No romance. More to the point, no wriggle room. So, are we sure that this is what we want? Absolutely. It's my gift to Howard for his peace of mind. Whether or not he's worried about it at this moment. No, honey pot. Do I look worried? Excuse me, Mr. Doyle, could I just borrow your charming fiance for a moment? Okay. You gonna leave a deposit? <laughs> 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 something you won't understand, Miles. Howard and I are very much in love. I don't know what you're thinking, but I have to warn you. The Massey prenup has never been penetrated. You signed the prenup, you can't get his money. Thanks for the professional help. Marilyn, think of me for a moment. Not as an attorney, but as a friend. Does that mean you won't be charging us for the hour? Dump him. You can't nail his ass. No, that's not all. I could have you to spark for that. It was worth it. A romantic divorce attorney. Fascinate me. I'll get right on it. I'll whip something up. All right. Thank you. How's Lionel? He's fine. He asked me to deliver the keynote address at this year's convention in Vegas. That's quite an honor. I suppose. On top of a great victory. What was that? What was that? Um, Rex Rexroth, he kept everything, you win, no compromise? Isn't that what you wanted? Oh, good God, Miles, what are you looking for? I don't know. Okay, I won. What then? How many cases has Herb Meyerson won? The old man, more than anybody. He's a legend. And look at him. He's 87 years old. He's the first one into the office in the morning. No home life. Who needs a home when you have a colostomy bag? She can't really love this dope, can she? Who? Uh, who loves who? Marilyn Rexroth. She signed a prenup for an oil millionaire. A Massey prenup? Yeah. Well, then. She is not after his money. Only love is in mind if the Massey is signed. April, come she will. When streams are ripe and swelled with rain. She will stay resting in my arms again. What the hell's wrong with you? April, come, she will. Thank you for coming to this celebration 
of the love between our two friends, Marilyn and Howard. In today's cynical world, it's so hard to take that great leap of faith aboard the ship of love and caring. But today, Marilyn and Howard are taking that leap and telling us, their friends, that they do believe, that they do have faith, that they do love. Do you, Howard Drexler Doyle, take Marilyn to be your shipmate on this journey through life? Through gale and doldrum, seas choppy, wild, and calm? Yes, I do, Father Scott. And do you, Marilyn Rexroth, take Howard to be your shipmate and companion to ports of every clime, be it in first class or steerage? I do. Then, by the power vested in me by the state of California, and as captain of the good ship Amor Veritas, I now pronounce you man and wife. What do you think? What are they, ladles? Berry spoons. Spoons. Berry spoons. Everybody has spoons. And nobody needs berry spoons. Well, everybody eats berries. I mean, Pollyanna. Hey, everybody. Folks. What did you see in hey, the uh, Martha Stewart catalog right next to the silver napkin rings? I need your attention for a minute. Stadium seat ass warmers. Dear God, Wrigley, how many uh, maybe personal possessions do we have to Mom, amass? Why so angry? Now, I know it's not common practice for the groom to give his bride a gift on their wedding day. But ever since I met Marilyn there, I can't seem to quit giving her things. <laughs> and I don't want to stop, because it feels so darn good. <laughs> Chelsea, bring that barbecue sauce over here, little buddy. There you go. Put that thing on my neck now. Now, honey, it's like the Padre said. I want love and trust between us. Love and trust and not a thing else. And this here deed that I'm fixing to perform, Well, honey, let me just do it. You see this? <laughs> Those are for you, darling. This hair is for you. This hair is for you, baby. Every last little speck of it. I love you. I mean, I love you like a son of a bitch. I trust you. This hair is for you, baby. Really? Baby, this is for you. Listen, I really love you. It's the prenup. I love her. I trust her. Ladies and gentlemen, prenup. I trust her. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs>